Oh, that's just a bit tasty, isn't it? That one. <laughs> that's actually really good. That I like that. That's good. Oh, turn that, turn that cam, turn that cam around a bit. <clears throat> yeah. Drew Pyramid's wreck. <laughs> As a tune, yeah, as a tune, yo, boy, what's going on, Papa? Good to see you, Mr. Bobolex. What's going on? Oh, Luke, how you doing, man? You good? And Luke, I saw you as well. How you doing, Luke? You good? Mm. No, no, no. Well, I did a little bit, and then I like it's just been the weather as well. It's been bloody terrible. You know, I mean, the weather's been just the weather. The weather's been the weather's been shocking, isn't it? Shocking. Good. I'm glad you're well, Luke. I'm glad you're well. It's just been shocking. I got I got the bottle of warts because there's no way I'm drinking monster in this heat. Yeah, today especially it was warm. Honestly, I thought I was gonna throw up at one point. It's got so hot. I thought, oh my god, I need to just I need to breathe cool air, you know. I I went through I've already been through a bottle of these already, so I've got Volvic, touch of fruit, watermelon, sugar free. I've been through one bottle already. This is my second bottle. Mm. Yeah, I feel much better. I feel much better. Yeah, just just sweltering, just just a, it's just like this. It's, it's a combination of the weather and then whatever you're doing during the day. And not a lot of you do different things, but like, doesn't matter what you could be doing. You could just be sitting down, and straight away you're you're you're, you're cooking. You're cooking up. You know, you're cooking a uh, full English on your chest, on your back, or something on your lap. Yum yum. Yeah. <laughs> But yes, I, oh, I added it. I got, I got. I, you probably haven't seen it. Um, but I added, I added this the other day. Okay, whatever ch challenges. I added this the other day from the uh, Evo tournament. It's probably gonna be a bit loud, but oh my god, I, I love it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is no game. <laughs> Just. Honestly, I was like, man, I saw that and I was literally buzzing. Yeah! This is no game! <laughs> man, I was just like, boom. Oh, the Tekken 8 ad. Did you see it? Oh, my God. I was up until half one last night in the morning. Half one in the morning watching the, watching the, take, the, the, watching the EVO finals. Knee, man. Went twice with we went twice with uh, Khan. Khan is clean. It was really good, but Nee on that Feng Wei was just mwah, was absolutely beautiful. Took his time, was patient, ran the clock out how many times, and just just got oh man, it opened him up, man, <clears throat> opened him up in that last round. Honestly, and that that geese though against oh, oh the geese, he done a jumping cancel into a into a, a Hadouken. And raged up, so he got, and he, and he came down and done two. I was like, how? It's just some, it's just some sorcery on these two D characters, man. They're able to get these like big resets, and yeah, Tech Tekken Eight is going to be apt. Honestly, I tell you something, like no lie, like you know, don't know how much it'll matter, but it's going to be. I'm telling you, it's going to be like I'll do mods, I'll do, I'll do multiverse, I'll do Tekken Eight when it drops, and Tekken Seven's getting an update patch as well. But I don't know. If, I might do some Tekken 7, but I don't really feel like I want to. I mean, I definitely want to do Street Fighter 6, because that looks... <sighs> oh, man, it's, cra it's crazy. Man. The, Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball sets are pretty good. What's a couple? Not many. I'm not really big big, big on the Dragon Ball scene. Um, Mortal Kombat 11 I watched a bit of, because Mortal Kombat 11 does really, really well, because it gets some really good character. Come Every character kind of has potential to kind of just, just take it. You know what I mean? Sonic Fox didn't... Um, Sonic Fox didn't win that. He won Skullgirls, I think. I think Sonic Fox won Skullgirls. I'm not sure what else he did, but he done really well. Sonic Fox and that, and then yeah, obviously we got Knee won Tekken, uh, MK11. I'm not sure who who won that. It was definitely someone I've not seen a name before. But again, I don't follow that scene very much. I'm a bit more of a Tekken guy, so these names are these names are new to me. But um, but yeah, it was great. It was actually absolutely, absolutely great. Uh, Multiverse. I didn't watch any of that, but. <clears throat> I heard the 2v2 tournament was really good. I think it had like a Velma and a Tom and Jerry one out or something. But um, yeah, awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, really, really good. Uh, what's this? Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. It's great. Oh man, it just, it's so good, isn't it? It's so good. Amazing stuff, man. It's actually amazing stuff. 
but yeah, Evo was great. Really enjoyed finishing that. Tekken eight announcement was just absolutely inc incredible. I mean, I'm assuming it's Tekken eight, Tekken seven update, and new character you got Jury and I can't remember girl's name for the Street Fighter six. So that's to be really good. Um, and what else you got? That's about it. There's a there's a few. There's a few. It's going to be interesting. The next few weeks and months are going to be interesting, especially with the Tekken World Tour um, ending in Amsterdam. Um, next year. Yo, is that Liam? Oh shit, what's going on, man? I watched a bit of your, um, thank you so much for the subscription, man. Thank you so much for six months. Yo, Casida, haven't seen me for years. Yeah. Luis. Luis. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, Twitch just felt a bit empty without me, Liam, you know? <laughs> but thanks so much for the resub, man. I really appreciate it. I caught some of your Resident Evil 3, F is it FTLG practice you were doing? You did some RE3 remake with the hot dogger you were on. Doing some of that, and then you did some RE three regular stuff. Yeah, so uh, Grand Blue was there. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, but I did catch some of that. Yeah, I definitely saw. Yeah, Grand Blue was there. Um, I'm trying to think what else was there. There's a few other things that was there. Um, but again, it's like I'm gonna have to look into it. Like I, I know there's a couple of things here. I think uh, I think Tekken had like one thousand, and then I'm not sure who was bigger than that. Smash was there. He was building a few submissions. Oh, legend. Oh, okay, how'd that go? Did you get any submitted? Awesome, awesome. But yeah, what I'm doing today is... Um, so Aiden, Aiden Watkins released uh, Containment Episode 2. He'd been working on it for about a year because he was doing Survivor Redux. <coughs> he was doing Survivor Redux. So I, I thought, well, I'm going to take an opportunity now and go through all of Containment again. Just, you know, pure Containment. Just go from 0 to 2. You know, so prologue, episode, episode one, episode two. I haven't played episode two, obviously. So it's going to be interesting to see that. Oh, wow, you've got quite a few there. Damn. Well done, man. So I'm going to go quite a few. <coughs> go through quite a few episodes. But yeah, so just kind of just catching myself up on containment and uh, enjoying it. Also got a patch for Ominous Premonition, so I'm going to spend... So I'll definitely get to that at one point, but I'm going to dedicate another... I'll have a time to that. I'll probably do that tomorrow or something. Play a bit of that tomorrow. But uh, today, it's just, it's just containment. It's just containment. And um, yeah, so awesome. Oh, don't just remember whose voice this is. Whose, vo whose voice is this? It's your boy's voice. It's your boy's voice. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry, yeah. We've received a distress call from the Arkley Research Facility. Oh. All contact was last, so we don't have much intel. Oh. Is he do I'm doing the same voice as I did last time. It could be a false alarm, uh, but we don't know for sure. God. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm all good. You're all good, yeah? Everything good? We we'll sent our best agent in, oh, along with a new recruit. That's me. Really, next week I'm going to have to look out for that. I'll be watching it. Resident Evil Containment, Episode 0, Prologue. Oh. There he is. This is Hunk, by the way. I'll do Hunk's voice. We've arrived at the Arkley Research Facility. Oh, I'm doing voices now. HQ received a new distress call. A new distress A distress call before losing all contact. All oh, contact. This is Ghost. That's me. I'm Ghost. The facility may have been compromised or contaminated. Why does he talk like that? Why is he talking like this? It's possible. They don't, well, his voice has changed. They didn't give us much info. <laughs> his voice has changed. We need to proceed with extreme. Now he's got a different voice. I can't do a voice. I mean, I don't know who's gonna be like, who's who here. Yeah, no worries, Mr. Boblex. You go get that food. I was not telling what we might find down there. Oh, ghost. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> Come on, let's get this done. Let's get this done, recruit. Uh, let's run. Where's the menus? <laughs> Oh no, what have I done? Oh. Ex How's your exit? Oh, oh. Option screen. Oh god, it's all gone mad. It's just, it's, it's the high voice. It's all gone mad. Is that really loud or is that just me? It's like, like, it's like yeah, cool. I, mate, it's broken already. Right, lesson learned, Lewis. Don't go into the menus, mate. 
rebound controls. Yeah, this is what I need to do. I need all uh, right. Uh, change target. Uh, cool. Oh wait, no, let's change target. I don't want that. Hard oh, to do change target. Is this? Is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, aim, aim. Yeah, sweet, sweet. Status screen. Sweet. Cancel run. Yeah. Confirm fire. Yeah. Option screen. There's that. All right. Cool. We're good. We're we're ready. We're ready now. It's all right. I've sorted it out. That calm down. Whoa. <coughs> Containment. Pastrami sound. Can he can he quit this? Oh mate. Unskippable cutscenes, mate. What's going on? <laughs> version you got. Latest version. Uh, no, latest version. I, uh, I, I'm doing it from the beginning again. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing it from the beginning again. It's like a refresher. And, you know, builds him up to episode two, you know. Yeah, Aiden said he fixed it. I got the latest one. It's all good. I never watched Wolves because I wanted to play it myself. But yeah, the uh, latest version. You know, all good, all good. All gravy. Smothered in uh, sauce. Oh, I've already read this, but I'm not reading it again. <clears throat> we should proceed with extreme caution. Right, run button. I'll tell him what we might find out there. Nothing that I can't handle. Come on, let's get this done. It reminds me of like a solid, like a solid Saint Milk, a solid script. Yo, we're, we're, we're rocking. Right, we're good. Right. I can't leave yet. Oh. Yeah, I'm back, mate. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back. There's nothing in there. God damn it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was nice. It was good to kind of get the recharge the batteries, refresh the mind. You know, kind of just just settle, settle a bit. You know, there's no need to go. I didn't. I, I think I was going a bit too kind of hard. I, I explained all this before, but like without kind of re, without saying everything I said said again. It just, I just needed it. I needed it more than anything. It looks like the automated security system is still active. That's Hunk, by the way. <clears throat> I've got to make different voices for the people seeing who they are. <clears throat> if we disable the power, the shutters should open. Oh. Maybe they were trying to keep us out. Like, he's going to have a really cool voice. Maybe they were trying to keep something in. And he's going to have a more gruff voice. So the, the calm the calm one is Ghost and the rough one is Hunk, yeah? Let's get moving. That's Hunk, by the way. So, right. <clears throat> it's electronically locked. Oh, I need to disable the security system. <laughs> that's, that's the world's first good one day, lovely. God, what the hell happened here? <clears throat> I'm shocked, I'm gonna be shocked. It looks like we found the source of this distress call. <laughs> Tongs. <laughs> what could have done this? I was actually gonna make orange chicken the other day, but I was in the wrong shop for the wrong ingredients. I didn't sell anything. I had watched, I, I, saw, a, I saw a YouTube short and I was like, I'm gonna make that. Head to the power room. I'll keep watch here. All right. All right. Off to the power room. It's electronically locked. Need to disable the security system. There's blood everywhere. Blood.
this must be the control panel for power distribution. Will you deactivate the security system? Yes. I uh, appreciate it, man. Thanks so much for the work. But everyone's been really kind. I had um had a few raids the first stream I did, so um that was really cool. And I had a really cool raid from Soul the other day, so that was really cool. I've been keeping tabs on people, but just not like. I haven't watched people for a long period of time. I started watching again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The thing is, I, feel, I, don't think it, I don't think it's like Twitch as a whole. I just think like. I think the Resident. When you've got, you got the Twitch Resident Evil community, and I think everybody plays their part in some way. And I think like. I think like you when you when you become such a such a part of it, which is even you don't have to have like all the viewers or anything like that, shy. I think it's when you become when you know you've you've you've, you've tapped into something special and you're kind of like oh you know and and you I think it's just that kind of like you just I didn't want, I never wanted to I never wanted to leave it, but I don't think I just think sometimes you just need to take a step back and just do that you know and my that for me was a few a, while, a little while and I think coming back is kind of like I want to kind of get that passion again you know that reinvigorate the passion I've still got the passion just I just want to kind of bring it back again and you know and, and just keep just keep going and obviously add a little bit more into it like a bit of a bit more of that in it you know you know Resident Evil's all good and I'll always love mods mods, mods is what I, I set out to do from day one but I think you know I can do mods and I can also, but I want to bring in other things that I really, I mean, when Tekken 8 comes, I mean, oh yeah. I, I mean, Street Fighter 6, definitely be tasting some of that, you know. Uh, Multiverse Ranked, definitely be doing some of that. Um, Reverse, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just there. What the hell are these things? Alright, do you see? Yo, what's going on, man? Okay, you're okay. It's going good, man. How are you doing, man? You good? God damn it! Look these creatures. Is he dead? What's out here? I think they might follow me inside. I better take them out first. Suffering World Combat Defeat. Uh, Mo, tell me you've seen the, uh, you saw the Tekken 8, Tekken 8 tees, man. Do ah. refresh things? Yeah, definitely, borderline, definitely. Those things were researchers at this facility. This is Ghost, by the way. This is Ghost, for anyone who doesn't know. What the hell was going on in this place? Why weren't we briefed on this? I've got to get out of here and find Hunk. So we've got to find Hunk now because, yeah, Hunk's uh, Hunk's disappeared. We have some gunfire and all these zombies have appeared. This is after RE1, by the way. This is after RE1 afterwards. Alpha team leader here. Please respond. This is Hunk. This is Hunk now. Status report. That's the radio. She's talking to someone on the radio. The facility has been contaminated. Oh, hunk, why? There are BOWs on site and no sign of survivors. Oh, there's no survivors. Oh, God. Requesting immediate evac from the facility. Yeah, Hunk don't care, man. He's out of there. Radio. Negative. Command has issued new orders. There's a robot on the other end. Contain the outbreak within the facility. <laughs> Exterminate, <laughs> exterminate all BOWs and any survivors, including Ghost. What? What the Ghost? Why? <laughs> You're all going to die. Command has reason to believe Ghost is an informant. Oh, amazing informant. Fuck. He cannot be allowed to expose Umbrella's secrets. Oh shit. You will be extracted upon completion of this new mission. Oh, mate. All right. Proceeding with the new mission. Over and out, y'all. 
Red Queen, yeah, yeah, you're all going to die down here. That was a trap track. You heard that like a drum and beat. Ghost, an informant? Oh, mate, Hung doesn't believe it. I need to know the truth. Mr. Death is that, yo. You screwed me over. Can they, can they get cleaned up, mate? So, H, HQ won't extract Hunk until he's killed Ghost. The, the plot thickens. Ghost could be an informant. Let's find out. Let's find out next time. Next time? Yo, that's what we need to do. We have to have like a next time on containment. Is Ghost really an informant? Will Hunk have to kill him? Will brothers become enemies? Oh, shit. Ah! Mate, that was that was some that was a ninja. Mate, silent assassin zombie. He's dead. Okay. Oh mate, still got the skills to pay the bills. Ah, oh, no, no, it's... Oh, my God, oh, mate, the juice, how juicy that sounded when he put a bit. Hello. So there is this... They just let you know, they're soaking it up like bullet shields. Hunk, you're alive! Target acquired. Oh, the deception. What? What do you mean? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Added that in. Added that in. To be continued. Right. So that was episode zero. That's the prologue, okay? That's not episode one. That's the prologue. So. That was episode zero. Now we're going to do episode one. Now we're going to do episode one. Whose voice is this? <coughs> Mr. Containment himself. So this is what happened in the last episode. Um, oh. Hunk shot. <laughs> yeah! This is no game! <coughs> Never seen this, yo, I was gonna respond. This is containment. Ghost, that was close. You almost got me. Ghost, thank you, Hunk. Don't thank me yet. You'll be joining him shortly. This is called, uh, yeah, this is called containment, Red Spine. It's a Resident Evil 1 mod. What the? Why? So he's confused. Umbrella seems to think you're an informant. So they want you to be eliminated. Oh, my eliminations. What makes them think I'm an informant? Oh, no. <laughs> it's crawling that clip. That's exactly what you're going to tell me. Oh, tell me this. Tell me your secrets, ghost. Think carefully before you answer. It might save your life. Oh, he's threatening to kill him. More deception. Could it have something to do with? My sister. She was a researcher at this facility. Oh. So that's why you insisted on joining me on this mission. When I heard about the distress call, I had to try and save her. Oh. I'm trying to save his sister. I guess Command doesn't want any possible loose ends. Oh, that's right, because if his sister escapes, she'll tell the truth. It looks like today is your lucky day. Don't make me regret sparing your life. Oh, right. Well, he says that, uh, life. I just want to find her.
You think so? Is that cream? Mm. Whipped cream? Whipped. <laughs> oh, I've missed that half the cutscene. Let's take a look around the lab. Basically, they're gonna they're gonna look for his sister now. That's that's the gist of that conversation. But what can we, Cream? What's going on? So we gotta look for the sister. She's uh, knocking around somewhere. Oh, she's just... just around, because from the beast. F8 spray because you never know. Zombie. Oh, mate, alien brain. How could you? Could you do this? Appreciate it, Pablo. Thank you very much. Damn, they're all coming in. Holy shit. I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, getting bot spammed. The most bots I've had in in forever. It's been the last time I can remember how that many bots. It's probably because I'm streamed in a while. It's probably I'm streamed in a while. Let's check out the researchers' private quarters. Hmm. We might find some answers there. So they're gonna go look around, see if they can find any information on his sister. You know, get that information. There's no reaction, it has no power. No power. <laughs> I don't need to check this area. Yeah, he's so. He's, hey, the knowledge this guy has, you know, it made me think he's in him. Get <laughs> <laughs> Tell you something, Cream. If you go, um, I've got a YouTube channel, and last year, yeah, it was last year, um, you should check out the uh, pool party I did. That's where you get, that's where you get some uh, half, you get, you get me half naked at least. Heavy here. Whew, making me sweat just sitting here. I'll check this room. You check the other room. I need to check the other room. <laughs> That's that. That room's called this room. It's called the other room. I'd make no money on that site, tell you that much. Yo, Saigon, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I uh, took some time away, Saigon, took some time away. But how are you doing? You all right, yeah? But I'm very well, thanks. Appreciate it. But yeah, I took some time off. Took some time off to try and grow my hair, but it never, it never worked. Still balding. Didn't... <laughs> Good, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Cream, I appreciate that follow. Thanks so much. <sighs> Thank you. That's for you. Ooh. Hit a note. Oh, near too, right? Nothing but the best. I'm struggling to write this note from the sheer shock of what has happened. There was an accident and the T virus has been leaked. Oh, how the hell did it even happen? That's the question. How did it happen? The automated security systems were activated and it had sealed many of the other researchers deep inside the lab. It's too late to try and save any of them anyway. Most of them will already be infected and it will become the living dead within a few hours. I can't imagine a worse fate, but I suppose we deserve it. Some of the remaining... I just read what you wrote then, Mo, man. I just read that. I was reading this and in the corner of my eye I read, just turn your camera upside down. <laughs> You know what I should do? I should like, I should probably do that one day, shouldn't I? I should probably, <laughs> I should probably put like, like a bat, like I should flip the camera, I should flip the camera, put something along the bottom of my face, draw two eyes, at the top of my face, sorry, so like you can only see my chin, 
draw two eyes, right? Draw two eyes, <laughs> and that uh, with eyebrows, and just have the face. Like, <laughs> so it looks like. <laughs> Do they? Oh no, I've never watched Red Dwarf that much. I just get this lab and make way to the Spencer Mansion. If we have to die, we don't want it to be in this cold, dark underground tomb. Who knows, maybe we'll actually make it back to the mansion. Then I would enjoy one last drink at the bar while I'm listening to her play a grand piano. Right. Got a grand piano player in the in the biz. No! Ben. Gunfire. Check it out. What have you done? Oh. He was infected. Oh god, he was infected. But he was still human! And he was still <laughs> For how long? For how long? Subject neutralized. That's it, yeah. He would eventually turn. Better to take care of it now. Why does his voice keep changing tempo? Maybe we could have saved him. Ghost, he sounds so naive, doesn't he? Sounds like really naive. Forget about it. Focus on saving your sister. Oh, that's right, don't forget the reason we're still here, mate. Did you find anything in the other room? Yeah, I found a note. It said some researchers escaped to the Spencer Mansion. Then that's our next destination. Onihi chan! <laughs> I've been training very well now. Go on ahead. I'll catch up to you later. Hunk son! Ghost son! I have some unfinished business here. Orihime! Tasuketi Oni chan! I don't know what that means. What is that? Oh, I can't push it. Why? Who is this guy? It seems someone used this only recently. Probably that guy washing his hands. Put his brains out, man. Elipad key? Oh, hey. Mate, I can't aim. Oh, shit. No! So we're gonna reset that because that just looked terrible. gonna try and get to the Spencer Mansion now because uh, apparently his sister might be there. She might be there waiting for us in the Spencer Mansion. So Ghost is off on, the, on his on his way to the Spencer Mansion. Cool. Oh, John. in the cops in for death. <laughs> the filter on my gas mask won't protect me from it. I have to go back. Yeah. 
So, yeah, gas mask. Did you find a way to the Spencer Mansion? Why has his voice changed again? Yeah, but the wood is filled with toxic gas. Give me serum. We'll need to find a new air filter for our gas masks. So they need the air filter so they can breathe in the go gas. There might be some back at the laboratory. Laboratory. All right, I'll go back and search for them. Here, take this key. It might come in handy. Uh, so, um, we take the conference room key. Yo, conference room key. Lab laboratory. <laughs> Today's word is laboratory. Can you say laboratory? Yes. Good. And you say, Flash. Yes? I don't know. Right, uh, I need to go out this machine gun because it sucks. I don't know how to use it. Put my DFA spray because, yeah, because things. Yo, we step. Dr. Isaacs, mate. True, mate. Doctor Isaac is, is a hero in RE in the films. I'm pretty sure I killed this one. Only chance. I bore it. Oh, nice. Go to his revenge. I feel like these animes I should be watching. Engineer's member. The facility has been locked down for the last two hours. What's his voice going to sound like? The facility has been locked down for the last two hours and things are looking great. One of the keys for this facility is installed in this room. But the switch is covered up with a metal plank that's been screwed into place. If I had my tools, I could easily remove the panel and get the key. I was working in the power room, doing maintenance on the power generators. But when I heard the university alert, I ran as fast as I could. Fuck you, you Oh yeah, Sean Connery, right. <clears throat> Leaving my tools and supplies behind. The others want to get me to go back and get my toolbox. But there's no way I'm going back in there. Those things are starting to change. They used to be slow and stupid, but now somehow they're getting faster and smarter. If they want the key, then they can go back and get it themselves. Red Dawn. <laughs> Oh, I need to go and get uh... No worries, no worries. Red one. <laughs> Red one. Fifty dollars in the air, I mean Jess. Alright. Oh my Nicholas Cage. Oh, how Nicholas Cage, what's he, his, his voice is like, um, how would his voice go, how would Nick's Cage be? Oh, I can't really do a Nick Cage, I can hear, I can hear like, face off in my head, you know, and he's like, uh, he's like, peach, I could eat a peach for hours, or something like that, you know, <laughs> it's like looking into a mirror, only not, yo, Trying to think of him in like film is it? You know, like, he's in Silent Hill, isn't he? But like more like maybe like um, one with the bullets. Is a reminder for Nick Cage. Uh. 
can avoid these, can't I? Let's run and leave these guys. Just a bastard in there. You betrayed us, you bastard! <laughs> that sounded really bad, didn't it? Yeah, I'm dying like. Yeah, quality animations, though, I love them. Bastard. He was um, sharp, wasn't he, old Sean Bean? Dog skin. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's still pretty cool, isn't it? For the uni for the for the uni -init un 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 initiated for the uninitiated, you know what I mean? Like the um for like say um for somebody who doesn't understand all that stuff, someone who plays this off their off just off their back and just sort of says like Oh wow, a new Resident Evil game called Containment with three well, more episodes and obviously you know. Um and then like they play it like, oh my god, you know. The hell's this? Yeah, it's pretty pretty good. I mean, like, I know there's some, I know Mode, for instance, like, he's a big Resident Evil fan, you know, seeing stuff like this, he's probably thinking, damn, you know, there was a world of such, such craziness like this, you know, it's crazy, you know, it's one of the, it's some, the modern world is kind of hard to kind of tap into until you, until you go look, you have to go looking for it, it's like, oh, what's this, oh, something on the side there, do I need one, yeah, do you know what, I'll take it, because, you know, Oh god. It's called top tier movement, that is. Oh, that kick up. I haven't watched any more, did it? If I, whenever, whenever I watch it, Papa, I'm going to watch it on, on stream. You know what I mean? So people can watch along if they like. Half oh, eaten corpses on the operating table. Mm, delicious. So juicy. Oh god. He's dead, isn't he? Uh, I'm not sure I'll do it. He's, he's alive. He's alive. The angle of that is is, is crazy. Okay. I wasn't sure there was anything in it, I couldn't remember. Alright, bullets. Needed that. Oh, says, something is written on the wall in blood. He won't give it away easily, even in death. Find him, kill him, search his body. Nice. So we're going to kill um, that uh, researcher that Hunt killed earlier. Now the human. Yo, Reese, what's going on? You good? How you doing? Yeah, poor John. He's strong, though, I mean, he's one of that. Oh, God, do his arm. He's one of these super zombies, isn't he? Is he a super zombie? Super zombie. Yeah, this is John. This is uh, Ada's John. Dude, this guy went down. It's huge. Yeah, you know John Ada? This is John. Mate, he's a tank. That's what he is. He's an absolute tank. Let him live. <laughs> Let him live. Give him my shed. Sean of the Dead style. 
the umbrella, the laboratory key card. There's a note on him as well. Is it? Oh, there's no note. I thought it was a note. Oh no, there isn't a note because he's been taken. And it's good, isn't it? The shadow of his former self. Yeah, it's the one. It's locked. What? Why? Um, lab key card. Yeah, it's not. They are alive, even in death. Where's that from? This laboratory is where they performed experiments. Oh, Ghost, why? You can tell Ghost is not happy with this. There is a lot of safety equipment around. So there's gotta be some air filters in here. Nice. Boom. Big shotgun. <laughs> is that a password? They are alive, even in death. Could be, yeah, because there's, um, there's uh, on some sense of the far plane, isn't it? Air filter, let's go. Damn it, there's only one air filter here. I better head back and report to Hunk. Yeah. Right, so we've got the air filter, which means now we can enter the chambers, the caverns, it's full of gas. We've also got shotgun, which means we're absolutely OP. So don't worry about it. Zombie Connor. Right, I'll put this away because actually, do you know what? Um, I don't need these FH sprays. Actually, no, I'll take one because I know what's coming. Don't need that. I need the air filter though. Turn, turn into the wall. Two bullets in his lungs, one in his each. The fool's over choking and home dong his midsection. <laughs> so he's gasping for air and bleeding out. Well, that's a good sign that he is alive. Yeah, I know what's coming. I've done this episode already. It's episode two I haven't done. Episode two is where I'm like, you know, that's what I'm, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm just doing this as a refresher for me. Did you find the air filters? Why is he? He's got to talk his voice out. We have a problem. There was only one air filter. Damn. Maybe there's a way to clear the cave of toxic gas. There can be only one air filter. It's possible. There could be some kind of ventilation system. Take the air filter and check it out. Why have I got to do it? Contact me by radio when it's safe to enter. Let's rock. <clears throat> Mate, why, he's trying to come with me. <laughs> he's letting you live. <laughs> it's because he knows. He knows what happened. Had work today. I was it race good? Did you have fun? Use the underground key. Ask John what his favourite Resident Evil is. It sounded like the elevator, didn't it? The key's gone out. I truly know if he lives. There's a bit of a banger this. 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. Do you know what I might do? Because I'm not too confident. I, I know I'm not really like like. I got a problem with this next bit because I, I got died on it once before. So I'm gonna drop, we're gonna drop a save. We'll drop a save because you know I'm like I'm careful like that. Plus it gives you a chance to see the awesome save feature that's actually got ghost name on. Yo, Unicomics, what's going on? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm surprised. I be. I swear. I, I'm surprised we haven't spoken before, Unicomics. I'm surprised we haven't spoken before. Hope you're doing well. Awesome stuff. How are you doing? Yo, Aiden, what's going on? No, no, I'm, on, I'm just finishing episode one up. I've not even got to episode two yet, so... You know what I mean? Good, good. Glad you're well. How you doing, Aiden? Everyone, it's Aiden Watkins, creator, and Unicomics. Um, also helped in creating this uh, mod and, some, and many others, I'm sure. You've done some other stuff, haven't you, Unicomics? Not just this, you've done some other other things. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. I finished work, and I said to Aiden that I wanted to go through... Um, Mate, no, well, I've not I've not done episode two yet, but on this on the on this on the prologue in this episode, been fine. Been absolutely fine. Been lovely, lovely stuff. Did a lot of art and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Good, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. It's great. It's actually been really good to go back and play this again because I haven't played it in so long. Drop me that shotgun ammo. Oosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode. Yeah, I can't, I'm looking forward. To, I can't wait to episode two now. I'm getting really, getting really excited actually. Getting really excited now. I'm looking forward to it. I know. Can't do nothing about me. They already did something about me once. So I was gone for a while and I've come back. You know. No, no crashes, no issues, no problems. It's been absolutely fine. It's been absolutely fine. It's a goddamn Kevin. You love Ray's nice one, Ray's nice. Mod change, I'm looking forward to it. I was actually I actually mentioned this to Aiden a little while back. And I don't know if you'd be interested in, uh, in it, uh, comics, like, you know, in the future. It's not right now, but um, I did a tournament a while ago. I did a tournament um, before Christmas last year um, or a, for a mod. It was basically a mod that I chose that no one had ever played before. And um, what it was, uh, it was, it was just like a challenge where I got, I think I had about 11 people doing it at once. And it was like for, a, it was for charity and they got a prize as well at the end. And um, it was... Uh, kind of like a, it was just a challenge mod, and it had like a few had, a, had to be had to have some difficulty, but um, it was also kind of to pit everyone against each other, you know, friendly competition. And I was speaking to Aiden about this a while back, and I was saying like, you know, I want to do it again, but I want to do it with a, a custom-made, ground-up, exclusive, one-of-a-kind for a charity mod. And once it's all done, then other than the people who played it, obviously, can, it'll be released after the event, sort of thing. I was kind of wanting to do that again, you know what I mean? Yeah, I really want to do it again. I loved it. I thought it was such a great idea, and I think for, I think with the talent for a, with the talent for a Resident Evil One mod, and remember it's a challenge, so it's got it's got some challenge to it. But you can go crazy, like you can go crazy with it, like like sh sh like how like hit the clown running around or something. I don't care, but just just stupidly crazy ideas, you know, and just it's kind of it's there to be kind of goofy but fun and challenging, and you know, it's just all for a bit like yeah, a bit like yeah, challenging like Wesker's Rebirth. But like a full, a full game, oh well, yeah, a full game, pretty essentially, yeah, with just loads of craziness added in, you know, stuff like that. That's kind of the idea. Zom yo, go mental, zomborgs. You can make anything you want. Like just on a, just go go crazy with ideas and create it, and then we'll all get together when it's when when the, when the time's right. When the time's right, we'll all get together. We'll all run through it together, and we'll all talk about it and. It'd be great. It'd be a great charity event. We'll get everyone. We'll get everyone in on it. We'll get everyone in on it. We'll get everybody in on it. You know what I mean? Cheers. Thank you so much for the follow, Reese. I appreciate it. Yeah, you got to do it. You got to do that. Rescue's rebirth, Liam. It's amazing, mate. It's quality. I remember the day that came out. The first. I still got. You know, I still got that version. Um, 
Aiden, I've still got that first version of Wesker's Rebirth. The first ever version, the original version. I've still got it. <laughs> There's a warning sign below it. Warning. Power generator can cause cave collapse. Oh yeah, and that what do I need to do? Oh yeah, I need to kill the thing, isn't it? New one is better than all the wasted things, yeah. Two thousand. Now it's two thousand. You've done it yourselves. Don't don't say you didn't. <laughs> I said to. Yeah, no. I mean, like I say, it's not. It, it, it's not urgent. It's not like right now or anything like that. It literally, it's one of those. It's one of those things like the idea is there, and I've I've already sort of thrown it out to Aiden, and it'll be great to see. I think, and then in the future, when when the time's right, we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was crazy. I was playing uh, that. Um, that was the Biohazard of the Spaniards uh, PS1 survivor mod. And it was just, the spam was insane. It was mental. Myself and a group of other researchers were able to escape from the laboratory and were heading to the Spencer Mansion. Unfortunately, some of the group were already infected and turned. The group was overcome with panic, and many broke off into smaller groups who were trying to escape from being eaten alive. During the panic, someone damaged the gas tanks and released toxic gas into the cave. Myself and two others wound up at the dead end of these caves, but it's too late to turn back. Yeah, like, in, in, it's, how do I put it? Like, it doesn't have to be, it's not like four tyrants in a room or things like that. It, it's, it's more for you to kind of, it's the extreme. It's more for you to kind of, like, kind of just flex a bit of creative muscle. Like not not be con constricted by limitations of reality, you know. If you want, like you said, zombie cyborgs, make them like spiders that I don't know. I don't know, just some, just crazy stuff. I don't know, just 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 you know, what I mean, just whatever you want, you know, whatever. And I'm uh, crazy, crazy. I can already feel the effects of the toxic gas on my body. Only wish I could have seen you one last time. <laughs> Oh, I need the crank. Oh, that's right. Use that. Herb, anyway. The crank. Oh, shit. Door won't open. Oh, it's blocked on the other side. Yeah, um, I remember, yeah, yeah. I was thinking also I saved it, because I saved it, and I was like, I remember just being super brutal and I got killed, like, really easily. Mental. What am I doing wrong? Chris Hunterfield, yeah, Chris Hunterfield, the legend. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Oh, yeah, 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 the hell was that? It's my voice. I did it. There's something else down here. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks so much, man. Honestly, appreciate it very much. Coming from the, the king, the king of Iron himself. I bet I missed the tech trigger. Oh, got it. Yeah, I um, I like, I like, I like talking. I got this problem with that, just talking. I should, when I should play more. Oh, I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think it's um, that's why I think I needed the break because I was getting to a point where I felt like I was doing myself a bit of a disservice. 
I was doing myself a bit of disservice, like because I felt so kind of like, Ugh, you know, and then like, um, oh, thank you. <laughs> I felt I felt like I was doing a disservice to myself, so I knew it wouldn't it would be good on on camera. <laughs> oh no! Wait, I wasn't prepared mentally. When I first saw them, I thought, yo, yo. He's fucking lying! He's fucking lying! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that was really good. Oh, take care, Reese. Thank you. I'll speak to you soon. That was, that was great. That was great. And it's, just the, it's just the way you did that. That was brilliant. That was good. Oh fucking hell, this lined up perfectly that did. Yeah, just blood and guts in that room. Blood and guts. Nice. Let's clear this valve. Valve, let's clear this room of gas. Oh behave. There we go. Use the valve handle. He did it with his mind. It looks like the toxic gas is starting to clear. Punk, it's Ghost. Do you copy? Shh. Loud and clear. What's the situation? Snake. <laughs> <laughs> I've cleared the caves of toxic gas. It's safe to enter. Shh. Roger that. I'm on my way. And if it's a yeah, oh yes, I'm gonna start seeing it moving now. <laughs> job. Now we can get to the Spencer Mansion. Man, I'm so excited for episode 2, it's mental. Actually, there's something we need to do first. What is it, Hunk? Hunk! Why is Hunk talking? What is it? We need to restore power to the gut. Wait, was that ghost talking? Why has Hunk spoke twice? We need to. I need to check that again. I think Hunk spoke twice. There is a power generator, but it's too dangerous to use. What do you mean? There was a sign that said it made the caves unstable. That's why it was deactivated. Those elevators are only the way to the mansion. <coughs> I guess we don't really have much choice. Yeah, he's fast, man. Hunks are quick. Right, let's get moving. Joe, right. I don't ever, I don't know I ever ban anybody in here. Sus, <laughs> sus ban. Sus ban. Uh, here we go. Let's go, let's go and turn this power generator on. That's rare, it's rare I ever ban anyone anyway. I don't, remember, I don't I think I only ban like bots mainly. And people that pretend to be bots, or bots that pretend to be people. <laughs> right, let's, let's turn this power on, eh? Right? Yeah! Will you use it? The power has been restored to the garden. Good, now we can use the elevator to get to the mansion. Let's get out of here before we get buried alive. Why is oh, I'm doing like a hunt voice again. Right, hunks well quick, man. He's just, just go through it. 
The cage is collapsing! Ah! Hulk! Hulk, are you there? I have to get out of here! I was almost a ghost sandwich. I can't believe Hunk is. I have to hurry and get to the mansion. I won't lose her too. Yeah. So like, Ghost, don't you? Like, ghost as a character is better for me because he's got more dimensions. Hunk has got like Hunk has got like zero dimension. He's like Hunk. He's just he's just he's just he's just Hunk. Ghost has got a sister. He's got to save. He's got morals. He feels he feels uh, he feels terrible about what's going on here. He's he's here to save someone. He wants to save you know he's you know he's he's a, uh, you know he survived Mr. Death. Elevator. As I've decided, episode two coming soon. Well, it's coming now. This gate doesn't lead to the mansion. I don't need to go this way. I see his name, he's there. You know, comics and leggy and rusty. Right, here we go. Are we ready? Get ready for it. Hunk is dead. Such a sad space in time. We know he's a scumbag. He didn't deserve to go like that. His pub. Yeah. If I could reach him behind the rock side, I could have. Right, get ready. Get ready. Get ready for your boy. Get ready. <laughs> mate, never gets old, mate. Never gets old, man. Never gets old. Right, voice acting on. Voice acting on. A house divided. That's like, uh, filmed. I finally made it to the Spencer Mansion. <laughs> I can't believe Hunk is. I won't lose her too. Yeah, yeah, it's me, yeah. She has to be here somewhere. Yeah, it's me, Unicorn, yeah. Got to hurry. Right. Oh, I'm stocked up. Oh, I've got bullets in my guns. Right, I'm going to search around here to make sure there's nothing hidden on these barrels. Can go back outside. I can't leave yet. Good, good, good man. There are beautiful gold crests placed here. Nothing useful. Oh, man. They were, they were before, mate. Who turned out the lights? <laughs> that cave collapsing must have crushed the power generator. God damn it. I have to be very careful. Who knows what could be lurking in the darkness? Spooky. Right. Fucking hell. Oh mate, look at that. Look at that green hue. Look at that green hue. Oh my wow. Look at this. Mate. Look at this shit. Oh my god. The fucking door lighting. Ah. Look at this. Mental. Absolutely fucking mental. Light's still in here. There's a switch. Will you push it? Hey! Looks like all the power didn't go out, didn't it? Look. <laughs> oh. Saucy. 
<laughs> I talk to my last one. God damn. God damn. I'm taking a shit, mate. The shotgun's coming out. It's a portable lamp. Uh, they had those in the 80s, 90s, didn't they? They just must have. I'm fucking worried. There's blood under the door, man. You know there is. This door open. It is. Hey, you fucker. <laughs> yeah, pull the lamp on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it runs on. It runs on different. Runs on different generators. Yeah, mate. This is beautiful. The fact, the fact that you can't run through this is just fucking genius. <laughs> I didn't have tyrants in the nineties either. I didn't have a lot of things in the night. Yo, there's one in the dark in there. That's right. There's a there's letter from Barry. Oh, Barry left me some. Yo, who the fuck is this? The body of a researcher. So they did make it back. I want some background on this guy. His saver and theme is sexy as well. Really good. I like his saver and theme a lot. It's calming yet somehow reassuring. It makes me feel. It's a Leon. Oh, it's Leon. Oh, excellent. It's actually Leon. Yeah. Gotta be quick. Gotta be careful. Great, isn't it? All right. Tell you what. This this door open as well. Okay, that is locked. Yeah, it's too dark to see what key is required. Oh, I gotta guess. Yeah, this is fucking amazing. The atmosphere in this is mental. Now I've fucking turned around. I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, the, at the atmosphere in this is just spot on. His name is Jeff. His low-paid raised for a wife and kids. We went for a husband and father to come home, but never will. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful bit of writing, that. That's why you guys are in the business. Green. I'm leaning in because I'm a little bit like concerned. Fuck off. Oh. Question. No, actually, don't answer. I'm not going to ask it. She's back, man. She's back. What the hell was that? She's back. I can't believe it. Now nah, I won't ask because I'll ruin it for myself. I'll ruin it for myself. A gentle breeze is coming from the fireplace. Oh, mate, this candle lighting is on point. Let's fucking go. That's beautiful, isn't it? An old piano. It seems to be missing two keys. L mate. Yeah, Lisa Trevor, man. She's back. you got to play uh, Wesker's Rebirth. Go play it. Go play it now. <clears throat> um, you see these. So you see these rooms, for instance, like like these rooms, like this, these proper pitch black ones without the green light in, like the ones where you can't like. So say like this room here. So say this room here. Um, can have you got? I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be zombies in these kind of rooms because. Yeah, because it's so dark, you can't see a thing. Yeah. What? Yo, fuck off. What the? Uh, who are you? What are you doing here? He's dying. That's why I'm giving him like a dying voice. I'm with the Umbrella Security Service, the USS. I made that bit up. <clears throat> You were sent here after receiving the distress call. Uh, 
Well, you're too late to help. Everyone's either dead or becoming the living dead. Damn, this wound hurts, dude. If he fucking turns in front of me, I'm gonna go mental. Are you alright? What happened? I was attacked by one of the infected in our group. I barely escaped. The others weren't so lucky. Was there a woman? Early twenties. Blonde. She's got to be blonde. Can't she be brunette? <laughs> you mean Tracy? Where is she? Is she alright? Meryl. She went to the guardhouse with the others. Oh, she's the fucking guardhouse. I don't believe it. The guardhouse? Why? It has an armory full of weapons there. Does it? Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. <clears throat> There's no way anyone can survive now without them. That's how wounded he is. Where is the guardhouse located? <clears throat> that was right there as well, and he told me I couldn't go through it. You can get there through the garden. It was a double ledger! Take an elevator, and it just passed the metal gates. One second, Edger, one second. Alright, I'm going. Who says that? Alright, I'm going. Wait, please don't leave me like this. I'm hurt pretty bad, and I need medical attention. Foaming at the mouth. There's got to be a medicate around here somewhere. <laughs> if you find one, please bring it to me. Jesus Christ. One second, Ampe, one second. <laughs> I'll make it worth your while. Hey, whoa, easy now. There's a bit there, but can't come out. All right, I'll have a look around for a medicate. A key on the shelf over there. No, 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 one second, because I'm reading this cutscene. I'll miss it. It'll lock some of the doors in the mansion. Please hurry. Right, awesome. First, firstly, Double Ledger, thank you very much for the raid, man. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Yo, Fractal, what's going on? Welcome in, everyone, from Double Ledger. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming in. Hope you're doing well. Edger, what are we playing? Can I get a shout out for him, my man? What's going on? Let's get this man, let's get this man a shout out. Double Ledger, get, this, get, the, get the man who has two edges a shout out. Can anyone do that? I can do it if no one can. It's not a problem. Uh, Papa did. Papa did. Did you do a shout out, Papa? <coughs> For a double edger. We got out. I didn't see it. I'll do one. I'll do one if you can't. Yo, Matrix, what's going on? Picard and Zombie Flockish. Yo, yeah. Uh, let me, let me, let me do. Sh there it is. There it is. A fancy uh, streamer stuff. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> awesome. Yo. Look at this. Speed running god. Look at his hair. Oh, mate. Is that, is that some sort of movement tech? I was distracted by the, the poo. <laughs> The view. At least I got the dodge. <laughs> yeah, they got the dodge. Well, rip run. That's so, just killed my run. It's over till it's okay. over till it's over, Edger. I see. I see time save. Thank here. you so much for the 14 months, my holy Less shit. Less than 30 that time save. Look at that. Thank let's, you so much. Let's go. Beautiful stuff. Thank you so much, Edger. I appreciate. It. I hope you were doing, doing well, man. What was you playing? Playing Resi Evil? Is Amber? Oh, go on in. Oh no, took a chunk out of you. Oh, another chunk. Three chunks. Oh. Oh no, they must. I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. Do another shout out for Ambe because that clip was really short. I like, I want to see at least a fifteen second clip. I want to see at least a fifteen sec, at least fifteen to twenty second clip. We can't, we can't. Five. That doesn't do it justice. Can't. That doesn't do it justice. Let's let's do it again. Let's let's run it back. Let's run it back. I, I'll do it. If, if, I'll do it. On there. Shout out. Yeah. Let's see if we uh see if we get lucky. Ah, right, shoot. Boom. Minute. A minute. A whole minute. <laughs> Perfect.
Why is this? Good question, I've no idea what that is. Anyone want to take a guess? Anyone want to take some guesses? We've got 40 seconds. <laughs> hey! Time's up. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> now the bottom one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Here's everybody's picks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> the noises, the noises. <laughs> hey! <laughs> glass blower. It's gonna be glass blower in it. <laughs> so we're getting another one. We're gonna be, we're getting. I think we're getting treated to the second one. Oh, okay. It's not. It's not stacked them. Someone eating a carrot. That's a good one. But yo, thanks so much again, um, Double Edge. I really, really appreciate. It. I hope you had a good. Uh, what was you playing, by the way? Was it just speed runs of Resi, um, Resi One? It's yo, Fractal with hundred bees. Thanks so much. Precious G virus. No one will ever take. I don't, I don't think it does. I don't think it does readouts. It doesn't do readouts on bits. I need to change it. I'll do it for you. The self-destruct system has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct system has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employers proceed to the emergency car, the bottom platform. There you go. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for 100 bits, Fractal. I appreciate that. And uh, Amber, hope you're doing well. What was you playing? Thank you so much for everyone coming in. Uh, for everyone that came in from both raids, from Man Bears and Double Edges, my name is Lewis, or can you see him? I Fuck! <laughs> I play... I pray, I pray, I play Resident Evil mods, but I'm also going to be playing some new things in the future. We've got Reverse coming up, we've got Street Fighter 6, we've got Tekken 8, it's been announced, well, it's been teased. Um, we've also got uh, Multiverse Ranked coming out in the, whenever they decide to release that, because I want to get on some Multiverse, I'm really enjoying that as well. And mod Resident Evil mods as well. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of things to ha happen in and ch chopping and changing, but um, mo mostly Resi mods, but then it's going to be a sprinkling of all these other things I enjoy and, you know, really want to kind of get into a few other communities and integrate some communities and stuff like that and mix and match and stuff so that's kind of the plan going forward on my return i've been out of streaming now for about two and a bit months maybe a bit longer uh took some time off just to kind of catch my breath return refreshed re reinvigorated to can you know continue and plans plans the times may change because my i work different hours now schedules change quite bad quite bad quite bad quite massively so i'm just going to stream when the opportunity arises and it will always be something like Resident Evil mods or it'll be something else or things like that. But today we're playing Resident Evil Containment. It's a uh, it's a it's a basically a zero to one, two, three chapter mod created by Aidan Watkins. Um I've done zero one zero and chapter one and and I've just started chapter two. I've literally just started chapter two. I've not done anything except meet a researcher. The story is, if you haven't seen it already, is Hunk and Ghost, who's his partner, get sent in to do a cleanup of the uh, Arkley Mansion. Um, but they don't know what's going on. It's a stress call, but they don't know what's going on in there. Tried to get extracted. They said no. Hunk's got to kill Ghost, but he refused to do it. He said, don't betray me. Why are you here? He says, I'm here to find my sister. Ghost is like, I'm trying to find my sister, Tracy. We just found out she's in the guardhouse. So now we're going to try and get to the guardhouse to save Tracy. Tracy! She's in her 20s, and she's blonde. No! No! The true beauty. <laughs> the true beauty. There you go, fun fact. Just as Aiden said there, he split it into episodes because it allows more time for each episode to get its own little you should have RNG bay on it. You should have brought, you should have brought more. More episodes. But yeah, thanks so much again for the raids. Really appreciate Fractal for the bits, and thank you so much for bringing everyone over. Thank you so much. Any questions, please direct them to my uh, attorney. Uh, I don't have one, so no questions will be answered. Thank you. Right, let's go. Let's continue. So we just met this researcher, and he just told me there's a key. He wants a medikit, but I'm telling you, mate, if I find that medikit, he's not having it. It's more important. Why can't I go in here? <laughs> Invisible wall. Get out of the way. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Dude, why are you following me? <laughs> Leave me. Yeah, this is amazing. I've noticed this in my first time playing episode two, so I'm super like, you know. Yeah, exactly. And I was, I did see that as well in the comics. Tekken Eight, man. Tekken Eight, man. Oh, the the the, the trailer at the end of the of the um. Let's go be the hunger for flesh. The trailer at the end of the of the of the of the Evo tournament, the Tekken, and he did the the cut. Oh my god! And the Kazuya just turns and looks and smiles. It's like get ready. I was like, oh my god. 
Oh, yo, Luke, what's going on? I'm right here, Luke. I'm right here. It's locked. It's too dark to see what key is required. So, yeah, because it's so dark in the mansion, because the, the, the uh, generator for all the lights got crushed. But luckily, someone's broke out some glow sticks. There must have been some sort of, like, rave or something. Um, so now we're basically making our way through the mansion in the pitch black. <coughs> oh, yeah, 90 gigs. I just needed to be a be beautiful Tekken. Beautiful Tekken. They're updating Tekken 7 with a new system. Yeah. Yeah, episode 1. The generator was destroyed by a rock slide. Right down. Man down. Oh. Nice, 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 nice. Is he dead? He's not dead. He's not. Oh my god. No. He's dead now. He's dead now. You can tell because the angles and stuff. Oh, I've used the mansion key. Let's go. Yeah, no worries, Factor. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. I hope work goes well. And, uh,. If you want to do umbrella, yeah, I, I, the umbrella corpse tournament. I haven't talked about that yet because the problem, the problem with it was, and I'll be honest, it wasn't that I could. I mean, the people were, the people were interested in it, but the pro the problem was, I think on a, on a, a, a scale of one to ten of interest, I think it just kind of hit like a five because I had a couple of people ready to go, but it just, just didn't go anywhere. So in in all honesty, I was speaking about this earlier to Aiden, just throwing it out there as an idea. I want to do another sort of charity Resident Evil mod tournament again. Uh, but I want, a, I want a custom made mod, brand new, never before played, and it only gets played at the event, and then it's released after the event's over. So there's a bit of hype around it, and Aiden's got, um, you know, great some great people he works with on these mods, and himself obviously does a lot of work himself, but great people to help him out. <clears throat> but he um, also has quite a bit of, you know, quite a bit of value, quite a bit of reputation to his to his modding name. So having Aiden on board at some point would be massive to, to, to sort of like kickstart an interest and get some people involved. You know what I mean? Just to, just to kind of spur on the event. You know what I mean? So. <clears throat> oh, awesome! Oh, awesome! Fact on. That's that's awesome. Appreciate. It. It's um. I uh. The thing is, like with the challenge, with the challenge runs and stuff, like the the no damage, no saves and stuff. I don't mind that stuff. Like I'll enjoy watching it. But like, there's only one or two people I'll ever really watch doing it to be fair, and that's not being horrible to anyone else that does it. It's just I've got these two people I watch because I respect them like quite highly, and I've been watching them for donkeys like for like what going on nearly twenty plus months maybe. So it's like you know I'm so invested in them that I don't want to be start watching all these other people that I get so kind of like I mean I'm all up for like kind of support, but I. I've got to be very selective in who I choose to watch because obviously time and stuff and, you know, you can only lurk so many people on a mobile phone and stuff like that. So, you know what I mean? But um, I, I could never do it myself because not that I don't have patience for it. I just I just don't want to, I don't want to jump into a pool that's already quite, I wouldn't say crowded, but the water's warm. You know, like, I like a cool swim, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel like I'm in cool waters right now. And I feel like the, the no save, no damage ones, personally for me, I feel like it's a bit of a, a heated, crowded pool. It's like a sauna, a bit crowded sauna. You know, there's a lot going on in there. But it's a bit hot, you know. What I mean? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's how that's that's my analogy. Oh, there's a light there. Look. What's that on the floor? Is that a tiny plant or something? What is that? There's something on the floor, dude. I can see it. I can see it on the floor. Oh, there's nothing there. Why did it look like there was something on the... F oh, it's a bloodstain. Like a plant. Oh, I can't take these shotgun shells because I'm in like... I'm no room for ammo. I'm in niche. Five rounds. <sighs> but you know what, right? Now I'll take them. Now I'll take them. Now I'll take your shotgun shells. It's too dark to see anything. I don't want him looking around for stuff. I'm scared. I'm scared something's going to jump out at me. Fucking hell, that scared me then. I thought there's something on the floor. Oh, he's got a lighter, dude. Oh, it's good. It's good I took that then. What I did. The body of a security guard. It doesn't look like they were bidden. What could have done this? Oh, he's been shot. 
It's been shot. Yo, yo, ooh. We'll start using some shotty, shotty ammo because, you know, a bit of space for the, for the stuff. No. It's locked. It's too dark to see what key is required. Yo. Johnson. Wait, is that a crit? Oh, critting. It's locked from the inside. Mate, if Richard's a zombie in this, I tell ya, fucking. It's clean. Oh, mate, this main mansion is fucking brilliant. Look at this. Yeah. Nah, man, this is really good. It's really. But this is how. I mean, let's be let's be realistic. You know, there's nothing in. You, this is, you've got to like. Oh. Hello. I can't see anything past this darkness. It's too dangerous to continue. Yo, that's fucking smart, man. That is smart. That is so smart. That is really good. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> Holy shit. Love it. Nah, probably not. Not in this fucking mansion, I wouldn't. Sounds like a lift. That sounded like the elevator in the garden. Did somebody use it? I have to go and investigate immediately. That's fucking... Man. Man, the, the atmosphere. Like, you hear the elevator and he's like, what, what is that? Um... Feeling that I'm feeling the the, uh, the tension. Feeling the tension. I need the lighter, don't I? Bye, bro. Um, oh, I need the lighter, though, don't I? I'm gonna need the lighter for something. Do you know what I'm gonna save it because, like, I think, like, I don't want to go doing all this progress and then getting cleaned by something I don't expect to be cleaned up by. Yeah, well, a CVX style holding it. Yeah, that'd be fucking. <laughs> Big smiles. Yeah, I'm. I'm okay, I'm keeping the lighter. I'm keeping the lighter. Let's go. I'm like, there's nothing here, but I'm nervous anyway. Herb mix. I'll save that because I got in a face spray. Oh, I thought it'd be something here. Oh, the elevator is gone. <clears throat> Who or what used it? I'll have to find another way down to the guardhouse. This just goes to show you don't need tons of enemies in one area just to make it like tense. You're just you're just like all you need is just 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 you know just oh oh no what's going on? I've not even got the crank, have I? I'm I fucking. It looks like I could have drained the water from here, but I need some kind of tool to operate it. Maybe I can find something back in the Spencer Mansion. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Man, I'm telling you, this is set up. This is set up to like fucking clean me up. Oh, 
I still got a key as well, mate. Right? Still got the key. Oh, okay, he's decided to use it now. Why did he decide to use it? Yo, is that an arm with a lantern? That's fucking a severed arm holding a lamp. Yo, fucking smart. Yo, we're going, we know something is blocking the door. It cannot be open. It's probably a body or something. Mate, I'm fucking shitting it. Look at that lion. This is fucking mental. Yo, aha! Woo, there we go. Dude, how dark is it? Oh, there he is. Bathtub full of blood is what I like to see. Oh, hello. The toilet is filled with blood. <laughs> is this... I saw this. Is this Chris's blood? <laughs> is this Tracy's blood? The bathtub is filled with coagulated blood. That means it's undead blood. It's too thick to drain from the bathtub. Maybe I could thin it with hot water. Oh my god. There's a sink right there. Oh, hello. <coughs> Researcher's memo. <coughs> Yo, Inspector Cot, what's going on? This accident may not be such a bad thing after all. As one of the lead researchers of the T-Virus project, I've had to access a lot of valuable data. I've made copies of all the research data and reports. This stuff will be worth millions of dollars to those who wish to exploit the power of the T-Virus. Umbrella have turned their back on us, so I'm turning my back on them. I've spent my life working on this research, and it's about time I get what I finally deserve. Yo, a man who knows what he wants. Money. A briefcase filled with various research documents. I guess someone was trying to escape with their work. My precious T-Virus. Nice. A rusty boiler. Maybe I could night with something. <laughs> the boiler is now lit. This will provide warm water to the mansion. Okay, you're nice, 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 nice. The bathtub is filled with coagulated blood. We'll use the hot water and unplug it. Of course it will. <clears throat> I'm scared. Of that. I'm actually quite nervous. Right. Will you take the piano key? Yeah, it's fucking legendary. What else is in there? No, nothing. One piano key. Very nice, 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 nice. Fucking windows break, I'm gonna lose my shit. Wow, that looks so good in the day, it looks really good in the dark. Where's the ones on the floor, man? You know there's gonna be one on the floor. Ooh, there he is. 
Oh. Ah, no, why? Oh, I didn't shoot him quick enough. Hey. So I'd like to see progress. Big progress. So I'd like to see. I can't see a fucking thing. <laughs> so I'd like to see big progress. I can't see a fucking thing. You took the statue out. I know it's there. It's broken. A broken statue is blocking the door. That's fucking legendary. They barricaded themselves in. Absolutely so smart. So, so smart. So smart. I love it. Brilliant. 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 Oh, dude. Why do you think these windows are going to go through? Door's blocked. Okay, still blocked. What door? Alright, let me put some stuff away because I've got too much gear on me. again because I don't trust myself. I'm fucking sweating. <sighs> Tense mate. Feeling it, I'm feeling the atmosphere. I'm a bit worried because I know every time you come to these rooms, things can change. I think. Okay, yeah, let's go try that. Okay, it's locked. Oh, dude, I swear to God, if if Richard's a zombie. Okay, it's locked. Things like, oh, dude. Okay, these doors near, but one these were locked, weren't it? No, I don't want to talk to you. Boom, there we go. Collection of insect specimens. There appears to be one missing. It's locked. There's no keyhole. There must be a way to open it. <clears throat> it's probably behind this bookcase. Nothing special. Okay. Oh, hello. I don't need any ribbons. Well, I've opened this door, but I want to question. Fresh wood is placed in the stove. There are faint markings of music notation note notices under the paper. Do I have to? I suppose I suppose you could try lighting that up. That's the only thing I could think of doing is lighting that up. Am 
Imagine that. Imagine going back to the old ones and just turning them in and just tuning them up. It needs to be done at some point. Yeah, sweet, 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 sweet. <clears throat> Will you take the music score? Of course I will. The piano, it seems to be missing two keys. No, I've got one. Can't use it here. Tartar's Moonlight Sonata. So I've got one key. Gentle Breeze. Doors haven't opened yet. I can't open that one, it won't let me. Can't go in there. Downstairs, I did those doors blocked. Maybe I could go back. Yeah, I definitely can't. Too dark to see what key is required. Okay, that's locked from the inside. Hey, there we go. Sorted. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's fucking go. Whew. What's that? Oh, uh, I don't write remake them. Really? Oh, awesome. There you go then. Winning. Winning on every level. You fucking... <laughs> Oh, the beehive. Yo, nice. Oh, the poison. Oh, I'm alright. <laughs> Fucking, of all the things I expected to be there, bees was not one of them. Yo, do I tell you what shit me up, right? Is if you had a way of making a sound playing here when he came through the second time, and he was like... <laughs> Or some shit, I don't know. Or even like Lisa Trevor's voice or something. That'd be pretty sick. Um, alright, cool. Bee specimen. Liking it, liking it. Progress. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot you can just use stuff. Okay, I guess you can't just use stuff. You know, the, this bee specimen, where is this from? Is this like something like from, I mean, this is pretty crazy. Is this custom? <coughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Boom, piano key, let's go. Let's fucking go. We're out of here. We're gonna get the other piano key. two slots anyway, so. Oh, I expected more keys to be hit. Imagine that you had a typewriter and said, there's a typewriter here to save. Unfortunately, there are keys missing. Really? I thought, you know, might as well give it a try, innit? You gotta try it. I thought, let's give it a go. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Yeah. 
Okay, you actually have to use the key to this. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. He's playing with his mind. Opening in the in the dude, at least Trevor comes out. It's fucking it's on. It sounds like a heavy object was moved. It's too dark to see anything. Will you climb through? Go down right. Away. Yo, this is smart as fuck. This is smart as this is just smart. Yes. Oh, dude, this is perfect. This is perfect. Can she get trapped? Is she invulnerable? I think she's invulnerable, isn't she? She's gotta be. There's no way she's like. It's locked. Oh, yeah, okay, we gotta clean her out. Ah, well, I didn't see the direction! Okay, that's not even hitting her, so that's a waste of ammo. Oh, that's perfect, man. Oh, mate. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Oh, I wish... Yeah, I, do you know what I was hoping for? That you get some sort of, like, little... Just one line. Just one, just one line where it says, What is this? Or something like that. Just one line. Just any... Just... just because I'd love, I think like, I think like you see that, you'd be like, yo, you gotta check it out, and you're, what is this? Or something like that, I don't know. I just feel like they should, I don't know. I just feel like you wanna check that shit. Oh, poison. Okay, it's good. Bro, if I need a light right now, I'm screwed. A candle? Oh, good. Not too dark to see. I need the bloody lighter. Alright, let's go and get the lighter then. Yo, Richard Zombie, let's go. All my hopes and dreams. My God. Did that thing in the attic... Do this. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Yo, it's amazing. What's going on? Yo, hey, how you doing? How you doing? You good, yeah? He's missing arms. Oh, yeah, isn't he? No. No. The true. Do you, know gonna, do you know what I thought was gonna do you know I thought with the arms? One in the bathtub. Oh, well, is that what it is? He's the lamp and bathtub arm guy, is he? Hey. 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 I thought that was Elsa Walker at first. Oh what in the What in the attic? <laughs> That's clever, man. That's clever. I didn't put that together. I didn't put that. I'm very well stunning Titus. I'm very well. I hope you're well too. I'm loving this is fucking I'm gonna be I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is probably the best episode you've ever made. This is just the hands and heads and tails above the way above the rest. This doesn't even compare. Doesn't even compare. Like just I mean obviously you need to play the other episodes for context, but this is just 
a masterpiece of Resident Evil 1 modding, honestly. Absolute fucking masterpiece of RE1 modding. Absolute masterpiece. So in, I'm so engrossed and invested in this. It's better than Resident Evil 8. That's, that's all I'm going to say. It's better than Resident Evil 8. Right. We're going to take a Yeah, you don't want it to end, do you? Yeah, you don't want it to end. You don't want it to end. You don't you just you just don't want it to end. You just don't don't want it to end. You want more like right, to happen. It's great. So invested. I'm on the edge of my seat, literally. Like head is like up against the mic, like staring into the screen, because I'm just like it just just it's, it's engrossed me, you know what I mean? I'm engrossed. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Where are those ink ribbons? It was in the research desk. Oh, I'll get those back if I need them. Oh fuck off. <laughs> what the hell? Yo, adapting rooms for your own personal use. Something's not right. I should tread very carefully. Oh, fuck off. Oh, this is bollocks. The temperature of the room is becoming unbearable. Oh, why? It's got to be a way out. It's locked. This is fucking... I didn't even save it, dude. I didn't even save it. I'm dead, man. Oh no, I'm dead. Where did I save it? Oh, just before the. That, oh, that was just before the fight, so it's fine. Ah. Oh. There's warning signs. I mean, I knew that. I knew. I thought, oh, if I just walk straight, it'd be fine, right? It's fine. It's fine. I was saved. I saved. Um. I saved. Because I thought, oh, just if I walk straight, I should be fine. Like, you know, death is the only escape, yeah. Right, I need the notes. Shotgun shells. Cool. I'll take the lighter because I'm going to use it. Anyway, so gone, gone, gone. Shoot, shoot. I won't bother taking health because there's no point. I'll just have to, I'll just get around the back of that thing. Yeah, no, but perfect transition into the, into the bit here. That's great. That's great. That was good. I like that. I did I, I mean, I knew. I mean, obviously, I was gonna. I mean, oh, no, I need to figure out how which way to go. It's got to end it. You got to be. You got to get got. You got to get got at least once. It's the only way. Why put it in if you're not gonna get got? Oh shit. You should have brought more. You should have brought more, Double Edger. You should have brought more. Got a new one in there as well, by the way, if you haven't seen it already. It's my new favourite. <laughs> yeah, the random armor sets. This is no game. Mother. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, isn't it? You could just like just clean her out so quick. Can you make her faster? Oh, I suppose it wouldn't really be much fun if she was a bit faster, would it? I don't know. Maybe you can make her. I don't know. Oh, hello. First aid kit. Yeah, I was in the game. Yeah, I haven't got. I haven't got cheating. I haven't got cheating. It's 
to go then. It's the lamp, the lamp guy, lamp lighter. Yeah, I don't have cheat. Do I have? Do I even have this cheat sound effect? I've got. I've got a sound effect, but it's not cheating. I think. Why does it always poison me here? I've got something like that. <laughs> Keep getting poisoned in Necropolis like over and over again. Can I use this? The RE survivor. Oh, door. I found a medikit. Patch yourself up. Waste of time. He's dead anyway. Thank you. You've saved my life. I promised you I'd make it worth your while. Take this, it will help you guide you in the trap room. Hey, fucking legend, let's go. Good luck, my friend. I hope you find your sister. Excellent, excellent. Crude drawing. Where's the fucking door? Where's the fucking door? Man, that didn't help me at all, dude. <laughs> this guy screwed me over. Oh, okay. All the way to the left. Cross to the right. All the way to the right, down. I'll have to just see the floor and it'll be better. See the floor. Hmm. Check that because I'm, I'm even I'm dying myself. Down two more. Oh, I crossed the end. Oh, fuck off. Does it turn off when I ah? Ooh, ooh. Okay, two outside there. Okay, it doesn't. Right, and back we go. Oh, dude, I keep I keep cancelling out. Why do I keep doing this? Got two squares across one. Go 
Bollocks. Oh, the end. No! What? It's bollocks! Oh, dude, why? Fucking hell. Fuck! I fucking had it. I had it in the bag. Oh, oh. I, I think I, I think I missed a square. I went, I went, I went across one too early. Fuck. Yeah, I didn't do the down one. I didn't do the down one. I was like, I went ahead, went one square ahead. Fuck you know. And again. <laughs> Save. I'm gonna eat ribbons. <laughs> oh yeah, I suppose I bad. I'll grab the ink ribbons from. Um, bullshit, fucking bullshit. I'll grab the ink ribbons from the uh, research room thing, and I'm gonna take the the what's it called? The uh, the first aid kit. Cause I left them on the desk, didn't I? The, the, the sound commands will work, it's just they take forever sometimes to load, it's weird. Stupid bot. It's good. It's good. You got. S <laughs> you got. You got. Sometimes you got to slow the pace down. Sometimes, didn't you? These these sort of things. You got to slow the pace down. You know, it's got to be done. Yeah, no worries, Asia. Thanks so much for looking. Again, thank you so much for the raid, man. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's really kind of you. Thank you so much again, man. Have a good one. I'll speak to you soon. If, if you don't come back, I'll speak to you again soon. I'm sure I'll catch you at some point as well. Make sure you haven't already. Give Edra a follow. <clears throat> He's double-sided. Man's like a paper cup. <laughs> Get from any angle. My God. We meet for the third time. Right. Go grab the ink ribbons. Go save. That's what I'm going to do. After I've got the, the code, well, the, the puzzle. Thing. Oh, right. Some of these friggin' um, these sound commands are like dead, dead in the water, mate. Oh, what's going on with them? Uh, I, I telling me, I need to speak. To, I need to speak to this whoever set this stream up. You know, I need to speak to this streamer. I need to speak to this guy. Who is this? Who is this man? Knife him up, Mr. Bobolix. Uh -huh. well, that worked. Oh, nice. 
Hmm. What is this? Yo, guys, this is Resident Evil Containment, episode two. Fuck you, herbs! A lot's happened. A lot's happened. Um, to summarise it all, this character's called Ghost. He's looking for his sister called Tracy. She's 20 and she's blonde. Well, she's in her 20s and she's blonde. And um, we've got to get to the uh, guardhouse because we're in the, the mansion in a minute. We just saved the researcher. Oh, yeah, it's very dark. It's very dark. It's uh, the atmosphere to capture the, the terror. There was an unspecified error. That's all it said. There was an unspecified error. All right, we'll try again. Reload. Good job I saved it, right? <coughs> Maybe it's just I saved it there. Just said that's unspecified error. Yeah, let me try again. Okay, it's all good. It's just, just, just randomly crashed. Just random, super random, no meaning behind it, doesn't look like. It's amazing, isn't it, right, guys? Amazing. Honestly, I've been like, the, uh, earlier I was walking through it really carefully because I didn't know what was coming, but now this is a trap room, so I've got to be like super careful now. I've died twice to it. Once because I didn't realise what I was doing. Second time because I missed a step. Oh no, I'm confused. Where am I now? Already went down one. Oh no, I need to stop making moves pre. I need to stop making moves prior to moving, dude. Unbelievable, mate. This would be like the. This is like this is the boss. This is the real boss, mate. This is the real boss, mate. Lisa Trevor wasn't the boss. This is the boss. This is this is from Metal Gear Solid 4, man. This is when snakes crawling through that <coughs> that heated area to get to the to get to the supercomputers, man. And he's all he's he's just yeah he's cooking he's cooking up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that is true. Oh yeah, cooked, cooked his goose, mate. Yeah, yeah, do it by line. Brown bread, <laughs> fried, extra crispy. Right, do it properly, right, it's four, it's four spaces up, so one, two, three, four. Right, next, after the four. It's three across. Three, three across, one down. So, three down, and then two the wall. One, two, three. Down to the wall. Hey, there we go. Three down, four across, three down, right. Oh yeah, I remember this bit, yeah, here, and then on all these sort of bits here. And this should be... All the way down now, shouldn't it? There, result. There we go, right. Right. Back up to the... Step. What is that? Yeah, here. And then it's... Two up, one across, one up. Two up, one across, one up. Hey, it's getting there. Two up, one across, one up. 
all the way across the end and all the way out. Hey, he's fucking done it. Finally! <laughs> Finally, I can get to the guardhouse with this crank. That's the Yo, Mr. Gutsy, that's the researcher, innit? Those were gunshots. It sounded like it came from the researcher's room. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. He's dead. Been shot in the head. He's dead. Yeah. Who shot him? And why? The mystery is that the plot thickens. It looks like he's holding something. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. Oh, shit. What you got? What you got on you, mate? I just got a lockpick. A fucking legend. Snack. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking, like, am I going to a lockpick room or something? Or oh, a wasted medicate? Exactly. I reckon if I knew the part, if I knew I had to get out of the guardhouse and get out of this mansion, it'd be fine. Right, okay. I'm going to take, um, I don't think I've got any health sprays, am I? Just the flesh He's still alive, he's just not breathing. Right, nice. I'll drop another save, you know. What the flesh wound <laughs> Do you want to do? I'm going to check um, this room again. Okay, it's definitely blocked still. my friend oh hello can I just use this right oh, I can excellent oh ooh, hello he's cranking should use his mind powers you know where he doesn't touch anything and he still he still does stuff so cool what that is down the opposite side. <clears throat> there you go. Almost there. Oh, dogs are in our legend. Another room. Oh, you fucking animal. You absolute animal. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Built another room. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Mate, I love it when, I love it when there's new rooms. I love it when there's new rooms. Let's go. A dense forest lies beyond the rusty gate. Oh. This is no game. What the? Oh my god, it's got a fucking security system. You've got to be kidding. Yo, this is so fucking good. God damn it. Why can't anything be easy in this place? <laughs> yeah, legend. Legend. Now I need a key card to access the guardhouse. 
Maybe I can find one around here somewhere. Mate, in the forest, you fucking know we're going there. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Bit of a fourth wall there. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Nothing's easy. I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. Please tell me what I'm back. I tell you what, if you've done what I think you've done. Oh, my God. This is so fucking good, man. And uh, in my head, I was thinking, is it going to be like the RE1 remake forest? And it, it literally is like, it looks just like it. Well, not just like it, but it's, it's it, the homage is there. That's just fucking mental. I should follow the dog, really, because he knows where he's going. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Very cool. Didn't expect that. Can I go up here? Oh, fuck off. That's so good, man. Huh? What's that in the distance? There's a light coming from that tower. Maybe there are survivors there. There's a scrapped area, really. Fucking hell. It's a long way down. Alright, oh, so you need a rope. Barry? Something. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. Use the lockpick, legend. Oh, man, this is beautiful. Look at this. There's a fucking rope there and everything, look. This is beautiful, isn't it, look. Look at this, man. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like... Oh, I'll do a running for that one. Yeah, get the pickaxe out. Cliff, maybe we could have climbed down it with something. Okay, I'll just the rope. Love it, love it. Fuck off, mate. What is this? Is he pushing him? Is he gonna push him off? Dude, how did you not see him there? Mate, full CGI rendered cutscenes, bro. It's done, mate. It's fucking done. It's done. It's done. It's done. That's it. That's it. That's it. Full rendered CGI cutscenes. The yeah, edit. The um, the uh, the music is just amazing. It's just amazing music. Thank you for playing, man. No, thank you. Thank you very fucking much. Amazing. Amazing. You made the animation. Did you make that whole CGI animation where you pushed him off and everything? Was that all you comics? That was fucking just. Man, when I when that started playing, it, I I oh dude, do you know what I got? Think I thought. Do you remember? Do you know what that reminded me of? That animation. Do you know what it reminded me of? Do you remember Fear Effect? The cutscenes in Fear Effect. Like not like you know when they're like in between scenes and stuff. It like all went sort of like bordered and they were quite they were like cartoony, but they still had a sense of kind of like you could tell they were CGI, but sort of thing like I just got Fear Effect. I just said I just got fear effect vibes from that man. That was fucking brilliant, dude. Yeah, amazing, amazing fear. I mean, <coughs> yeah, it honestly, 
fear effect honestly honestly fear effect that's what that's what i got from it so good so so man that was genius oh i'm actually like shocked at how good that was man i'm actually sh oh dude where'd you go from here you know he's got to survive in the if it bleeds yeah i'll explain what's going on we dude can kill it hey Vajit, what's going on how are you but i'll tell you something he we that's we call a cliffhanger i'll put that in the press release that there, that model of him there, right, all busted open. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's what he looks like after he's fallen off the cliff, because it doesn't look it doesn't look like that in the game. But a new, I reckon, aha, aha, a new model of him, looking like all like messed up, looking like that would be made like all busted and broken and bleeding, you know. You know what I mean? It's just it's just it's foreshadowing, isn't it? It's foreshadowing. <laughs> so I grew this tash out, you see, so I could do these things. I could twizzle it, but it's not really working now because it's like it's a bit flat. But you know, like it's like mm, <laughs> foreshadowing. You know, who killed the researcher? Mm, <laughs> it was the butler. You know, amazing. Nah, so good. My round of applause. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much, man. That was so good. 